Welcome back to the massive amount of books I found in one box. Uh, let's today talk about sailing. The best of all sailing worlds. Right here. Royce's Selling Illustrated, Volume Uno. What is this? Okay, so in the first book, we have, uh, what is it first? I have no idea. It's just little pictures of things that mean, kind of funny, we were just talking about uh, the Sumerians and the, the Babylonians and the first bit of writing and how they had a lot of, fucking, or a lot of pictures, All right? Kind of same thing here. Each one of these little things means something, don't, doesn't it? I don't, I can't, ex I don't, I don't know enough about selling. What? Alright. So, at first, I was going to be like, you know, it's a whole bunch to do with selling. Until, until, and this has to be old school, really old. The reason I say that is because we got this nice little picture of an Indian right here. And maybe that's a knife or maybe that's an Indian. I'm not sure. I, I don't understand what these pictures are for. However, the 1960s was the golden years of recreational sailing. The 1960s were the golden years with new fiberglass holes, synthetic sails, and rope. For the first time, many new sailors had enough money in the bank to buy a minimum maintenance sailboat of 35 feet. It was fun to teach full day lessons with people from the four corners of the United States and one from Bahrain in the Persian Gulf with over 1,600 full day sailing students. Anything that could go wrong did such as a big whale port attacking or attacking us in our jetty. So, okay, so this is uh, Roy Royce. So, yeah, it's Royce's selling industry, the best of all selling world. Okay, so this is his little book of, of what he's done and all his, I, I don't know. It's a lot. But it, it talks about a whole bunch of different different books or different boats so we can learn about sales right um right here we got the western lug rig the leg of mutton the eastern lug wig the square sail shoulder mutton or the that's the dutch gap rig i don't know Basic sales shapes. There's a lot more to this selling than, well, man, oh man, there's a lot to this stuff, right? I had no idea there's so much to selling. Marconi rig. Wow, this is like intense. So we got the sailboat different types, right? And a lot for me, all right, when I was younger, um, I used to go to Crystal Lake with my family. And my aunt loved sailing. My mom, not quite so much. She would maybe go out once in a blue moon with us. You know, we had a sailboat in in our at our lake house in um, Lake Toxway, North Carolina as well. But the bigger boat, the better one was up in Crystal Lake at the family house. Like the bigger family house, not just my immediate family. Like aunts, uncles, grandparents, all that kind of good stuff. And so every summer we'd go up there and my aunt would like to take me out and she'd teach me how to sail and all that kind of stuff. So that's part of the reason I picked the book. Other than that, like if, if it was just random, I, I wouldn't really thought about sailing. However, wait, what? Wow, so there's so much to this. So these are the sailboat types. right and we'll go one through eight or one through ten 
or no, one through 13. But then like there's, uh, this is literally just the type. Cause then I was looking at the schooner and there's like a hundred different, or no, I'm not gonna say a hundred. There's a, a numerous different schooners as well. So going on one, we got the cat boat. Two is the fractional sloop. The sloop. Uh, that's number two. The three, the masthead sloop. Number four is the cutter. Number five is so the yawl. Number six is the catch. Which now those have uh, uh, different. The the first four looks like they just had like you know your basic sales one to two sales. Then five through six or five through seven, they have uh, like more sales. And then eight through ten, even more. And then eleven, twelve, and thirteen kind of go back down. The traditional rig rig is uh, more or less think of like the man of war or something like that. A huge boat from back in the olden days. But we got the the schooner, which is number seven. Both mass same height or after mass is taller. Uh, number eight, we got the the standard schooner rig. Okay. Number nine, we got the stay sail schooner. And then 10, we got the traditional rig. 11, 12, and 13 are just, uh, they don't have, if holes 11, 12, and 13 are identical uh, with some total sail area. So their holes are same. So it's basically the same boat, just different, different sails. But what we'll be doing, I, I like the, Okay, so uh, two, three, or two, three, and four have the same holes, just different. So the fractional sloop, the master sloop, and the cutter are all the same holes. They just have different mass or like sails. Well, we're gonna go through. We'll go through a traditional rig. You know, the bigger the better, right? So number ten, we'll do that in. Uh, just so I remember, number 10, 282. The wonderful world of tall ships. That's basically what traditional luggers, luggers, the square rig family, the naval warship. See, that's what I was talking about, the man of war. So we're going to be talking about the big boys, right? The big boys is more interesting, more history behind them. Right? I, I, I don't own a big boy ship. I, my, the sailboat I was riding on was quite small. But, you, excuse me, you get the point. All right. Talk to you again soon.